think we're good. Are we recording? Pretty sure we're recording. You see Cyclops, cause he's cool. You see me, Cyclops me. Hi guys! So I'm recording, recording, I'm recording a video of a cosplay that I'm going to basically put together tonight because I have an addiction and I was just going to have one more cosplay this year but I decided to do another one. But this one's really simple, it is Clara from, Clara, so it is Claire from Jurassic World and I bought a lot of the supplies from stores which most of the time I like to make things myself but I decided to buy it because I basically am putting this together in a couple of days. And so I just want to show you my process, see how I did it. So for her hair, I obviously have blonde hair, so I bought this cheap wig at Party City because I didn't have enough time to order a good one off the internet. And it's just a ginger wig. It's the wrong length, so I'm going to have to cut it. But I got this one because it has the bangs already, and I'm terrible at cutting bangs on wigs. So, um, but it's really shiny. I mean, cheap wigs are normally shiny. You can even tell it's shiny in the packaging. So what I basically have done is I put it inside this bucket right here. I filled it up with a couple cups of fabric softener and I diluted it with a little bit of water and it's been sitting in this bucket for about four days now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out and lay it out in the ground on a towel and then um, let it dry overnight. And that should get rid of most of the shine and then I'm going to add um, baby powder and dry shampoo and it should get a completely matte, natural looking wig and then I'll um, then cut it to match her length a little bit better. Taking the wig out of the mixture and now it's dried overnight and it's pretty dry. It's been sitting on this towel for maybe about 12 hours or so so it's pretty good. So it got rid of most of the shine but it's still pretty shiny, too shiny for me. So I'm actually going to brush in some body powder and some dry shampoo and I'm going to use this wig brush which if you don't have one of these you need to, ooh that's a bit, you well loved. But if you don't have one of these, you need to get one for sure. So after much wrestling, my hair is in a wig cap. So on goes the wig. First lock. The carnage. So much carnage. The pennant is only a couple inches below the knee. She did it in the front and the back. All the gold will be gone, but we'll have the flowy skirt that I couldn't find, so we are not buying this dress. This strapless dress has turned into a skirt. We have a rough bottom, which is okay. I'm gonna actually take some sandpaper and rough it up to make less like scissors went to it and more like sandpaper-ish, so it looked like, like a tree grabbed it. There's the extra fabric, no more gold anymore. It looks really close to her skirt. I'm very surprised. Really good for like a couple of bucks. And then I'm actually going to add her slit that she gets up the side because when you're running from dinosaurs you obviously get a scandalous slit up your skirt. And then I'm going to add some dirt and grime which is the fun part. So as you can see she's got this like really scandalous slit up her dress, skirt, whatever this is called. I've copied it. And then here we just got some button up that we're going to tear up and make awesome and then I just found a light purple tank top that happened to be only three bucks and that's totally like doable. Let's do it. Okay, well here's the finished trashed up skirt. We got the little marks. We used the pastel to get the little like marks. We had some different color dark paint that I used the acrylic water mixture to spray on it. And then I'm actually going to throw it in the dryer because it's kind of wet. They kind of set the paint in it. And then we'll move on to the other pieces. So I forgot the dirt pretty much on the top layer, but I'm also going to put some on the bottom. Okay, top and the light. The skirt and the shirt are done. I did the same technique to the shirt as I did to the skirt, which is just acrylic paint with water and a spray bottle and some eyeshadow that is kind of dust on there and then sealed with acrylic spray paint. Yeah. So the wig is a little bit too red burgundy-ish color than what I expected it to look like on me. It's probably because I have really pale skin. So I'm just going to take pastels again. Take this red right here. 
this orange and then I'm going to apply it to it and hopefully make it a little bit less orangey red color for warm. And crisis is averted! Now it has an orangey undertone that I'm happy with. It looks more closer to her hair. It's pretty much just doing like hair chalking. I'm going to seal this up with some hairspray and it'll be good to go. Cheap wig actually pretty satisfied with. Wouldn't probably get any much better from a more expensive wig, so awesome. Yeah. Proof this is impractical. <laughs>